when we talk about a complex fluid flow phenomena, what do you think um, are the biggest obstacles CFD engineers or CFD researchers face when tackling such a complex problem? They don't not they don't know anything about. So, for example, which turbulence model to choose? Um, what is your recommendation for, for for these people or upcoming CFD engineers? What they should focus on when you start something for which you have no information from before. Then you have to do it in, in, in small steps. Start simple and then increase the complexity. Uh, not start mm -hmm. with with large eddy simulation. Uh, sometimes it's even not possible. If, like if you have a ship, I mean the whole ship, uh, which is 400 meters long, uh, it will be maybe next three generations before they can do LES of it because it's uh, it's Reynolds numbers are 10 to 12 or something. But um, I mean you have to start with the, with the simplest uh, approach. I always start with, if it's uh, steady, if I can assume that it's steady state, start with K epsilon turbulence model. That's the that's that's the general one. Then you have to uh, vary things. If you have no information, nothing from experiments, nothing from real life, then you have to see. Well, if I change now from uh, K epsilon model to Reynolds stress model, do I see significant change in the flow? If I go to transient simulation, do I see, because sometimes you do steady state trans simulation and it looks okay because, you know, residuals uh, go down to the limit you specify. But if you try to converge further, maybe they will not go any further. And then you see, okay, there is maybe some inherent unsteadiness there. So you have to check then maybe the flow is unsteady and you need to look it into more detail. And if you don't see big changes when you do all these uh, variants, then you're probably okay. Okay, but if you see that when you change from one turbulence model to another, there is a significant change. And when you change from steady to transient, there is a significant change. Then you know that you have to increase the level of fidelity and uh, that means also increase the effort and complexity. 